here today's video is going to be on that girl outfit now i know that's a little bit of a strange title but a big trend online especially on kind of tiktok and things is that girl which i think is basically a overall kind of term for someone who like really looks after themselves is really into you know a positive mindset and everything like that but also there is a trend with that girl with kind of outfits and styles as well so i thought i would do my own take on that girl outfits which is basically just like cool girl outfits <laughs> if that makes sense so i hope you enjoy this video and the looks if you do see anything that you like i leave links to all of the items that i show down below in the description box and let's get into the video so for outfit number one i've got on this cropped blazer from urban revivo a little black crop top black choney jeans from topshop and then my boohoo welly boots i put this outfit together because looking at what's really kind of on trend at the moment and what everyone is wearing definitely these cropped blazers blazers of any sort seems to be a huge trend at the moment it has been for a little while but i feel like it's even more so now especially as we move into spring as well with kind of more pastel uh, bright colors and things and obviously your classic neutrals like beiges and white beiges beige and white <laughs> just thought this crop jacket worked really well with this look just because it kind of crops you off at the waist so it's a little bit more flattering especially with these welly boots because they do kind of finish at a little bit of an awkward point just below the knee and it can chop you off sometimes so definitely if you have a pair of boots like this I really recommend wearing them with a pair of dark like trousers whether that's black leggings or you know black jeans like this just because it looks so much more flattering and really helps to elongate your legs if you are shorter if you're tall I am so jealous of you because you can so get away with boots like this with just anything but if you are shorter going with the um, black trousers and the black boots just really helps to elongate your leg and still wear the trend um, so I also wore the crop top with the cropped blazer just because they kind of finish at the same point so it all kind of works in terms of balancing the outfit but any kind of blazer especially ones that are kind of boxy fit or you know a cropped blazer like this works really well for the that girl trend so on to look number two this time i'm wearing a black long sleeve dress which i think was from asos honestly i've had this for years so i'll link a similar one down below but just a staple long sleeve black dress is such a good addition to your wardrobe because you can style it all year round in so many different ways you can wear it in winter with tights and boots and things like that and you can wear it into spring and summer as well with like a denim jacket and a nice pair of trainers anything like that they're so versatile so over the top i've got on this long line khaki trench coat which you can also belt around the waist which i absolutely love i think i got this maybe one or two years ago again so i'll link a similar one down below for you um and then for my shoes i'm wearing the same boohoo black welly boots now i feel like this is such a simple look which again hopefully you can recreate with things that you might already have in your wardrobe um but this is a look that i've seen so often again i feel like the um that girl kind of trend is all about kind of simplistic outfits but they're still really stylish and i feel like this is a very easy way you can also do your own kind of take on that trend as well you could wear tights with this look but i just decided to go for bare legs but i think at the moment i would definitely wear a pair of tights because it's freezing still but going into spring obviously you can style this with bare legs as well and that would look really nice so now on to look number three again an outfit which is very much made out of staples but all put together it kind of works so i've got on this black long sleeve top which i think was from pull and bear but i'll link a similar one down below this camel coat from marks and spencers and then a light beige knit skirt from and other stories and then just a pair of black flat lace-up boots again you could very easily style this look with a pair of tights if the weather's colder but if you live in a slightly warmer climate you could get away with not wearing tights um, but I just feel like again this look works really well with all of the pieces put together but I feel like again hopefully this is an outfit which you can kind of build with similar pieces that you have in your own wardrobe you know you could just put on a long line coat like this a basic top in black or grey or white with a mini skirt and then a pair of boots it's a really simple way to build an outfit so for my next look this time I'm wearing this black headband which was from ASOS this black with diamante detail belt which I think was from Boohoo um, a black kind of thick wool style blazer which was from Misguided and then the black long sleeve dress 
underneath from ASOS and then my Gucci tights and black lace up boots. I feel like this is something that I would kind of wear more towards if I was going for like a daytime kind of event kind of thing. But I really like this outfit and how easily you can also switch it up for a nighttime look as well. All you need to do is change the flat boots to a pair of heeled boots and that would make it a nighttime look basically. Um, but I just really love the Diamante belt detail. I've seen that a big trend is just wearing a oversized boxy blazer and then belting it around your waist and then obviously if you've got kind of like a dress or a black skirt or you know any kind of skirt underneath and then a pair of tights and boots it works really well because the blazer basically looks like a blazer dress even though it's just a standard blazer and you can also mix and match it with other outfits too so that's a really good way to get kind of multiple looks out of one of your pieces. But yeah, I really like this outfit. I just feel like it's something a little bit different and kind of a bit more girly and glamorous too, which I absolutely love. So on to my next look. I can't remember what number I'm on now, so I'm just saying next look. Um, but this next outfit, I've got on this oversized cream bow leather jacket from Misguided. Uh, a little kind of rose, um, I'd call this rose color, pink bodysuit from House of CB, blue straight leg jeans from Stradivarius, and then just my Nike trainers. Wide leg jeans seem to be a huge trend at the moment, especially paired with, you know, something tight fitted on the top like a bodysuit or a crop top. And then with an oversized leather jacket over the top, that seems to be a huge trend as well. So mixing oversized pieces like the jeans and the leather jacket with something tight underneath just really helps to balance out the proportions of the outfit as well. So for this look I've got on a cropped denim jacket from Topshop, a white kind of fitted top which I've just rolled up a little bit at the front from River Island, misguided um, blue mom style straight leg jeans and then my Nike trainers again. Again such a simple look. So double denim kind of 90s 2000 trends are really kind of back at the moment and double denim is a huge trend of that as well. If you didn't have a matching blue set, you could kind of go for a black set instead. So black denim jeans and a black denim jacket would also look really good with your trainers. Or you could dress it up for nighttime with a pair of heels or something like that as well. But I really love this outfit just because of how easy and simple it is. And especially if you dress it up with your accessories as well. So you know, a nice necklace or earrings. I tend to go for either necklace or earrings, not both at once. But yeah, any way to kind of mix it up and make your own use your accessories to do that as well. And then finally for my last look, I think this look is my favorite out of all of them actually, just because of how, again, simple it is, but very stylish. So I've got on this black blazer from Marks and Spencers, a black crop top underneath, and then these black smart trousers from Miss Selfridge from their petite collection, and then my Nike Dunk trainers. I just love how this is all black. I love all black outfits, um, but also how it's kind of a great mix between smart and casual. So it's super smart with the trousers and the blazer. If you was to wear like a, a shirt under this, it could pass as an office look without the trainers. But then with the trainers and the crop top, it really kind of dresses the look down and makes it more of an everyday look. Again, obviously you would need more layers if the weather is colder. Maybe put on like a, a thick black um, long sleeve top or something underneath, or a slogan t-shirt would work really well. But I think going into spring and late summer into autumn, this would be such a great look. And you could do this in so many different ways um, to see your own personal style so maybe if an all black outfit isn't really for you you could go for pastel colors instead green is a huge kind of trending color at the moment as well or your hot pinks things like that so I'll link some others down below for you as well in the description box but I just absolutely love how kind of casual but still cool this look is but that is it I really hope you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you did like it because that would really help me out I know I say it all the time time but it really does make a big difference if you do like hit that subscribe button and like the video it just makes a huge difference for me and yeah if you saw anything you like all the links will be down below in the description box let me know your thoughts in the comments which outfit was your favorite and yeah I will see you all in my next video bye guys